Welcome to Morning Dose. Well, still to come on Morning Dose, we are chatting with Dr. Brooke Goldner once again on how to boost your immune system during the coronavirus. you got to stick around for this because it will help. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everyone. The coronavirus is keeping us on edge, as we know, with our health and well-being. So we brought in Dr. Brooke Goldner, who is here to share how you can boost your immune system and energy during this pandemic. And I'm glad we mentioned the word pandemic. Can you explain to people just briefly, what is a pandemic? So a pandemic just refers to a situation where we have some kind of infection that is spreading globally that we do not have immunity to. And that's why we're calling this a pandemic. It is spreading. It's affected over 50 countries worldwide, and we don't have any immunity or treatment for it at this time. So how are people actually getting the coronavirus at this point? Well, right now it's person to person. I mean, a coronavirus really is something that can infect animals or people or sometimes mutate from animals to people. And we've had that happen before, like swine flu, for example. And this was also, uh, this is considered to be a virus that's mutated. That's why it came from the animal markets out in uh, China. Mm -hmm. But right now it's person to person. I know. And we also talked about earlier, we had a uh, wonderful doctor as well mentioning the highest risk people are those who are elderly who have uh, compromised immune systems. And you talk about um, immune systems as well and trying to boost those. So what do we need to be doing right now to make sure we help our immune system fight some of this? Yes, absolutely. So what I'm known for is helping people reverse autoimmune disease, but the same thing that can reverse autoimmune disease can also strengthen immunity. So you want to do multiple things. One is you got to keep stress low. I know everybody's panicking, you know, yes. that there's this, this epidemic or pandemic going on, but stress actually weakens our immune system. So we need to take precautions, but also keep our calm. And then we need to nourish ourselves well, stick with our cruciferous vegetables or leafy greens. A lot of people are diving into junk food. Mm -hmm. They're going to the supermarket and they go, I'm home. I'm just going to eat a bunch of junk food. No, this is the time to eat your vegetables, chia seeds, flax seeds. Keep your hydration up with water. Don't sink into wine and Netflix right now. We want to <laughs> want water. We want to eat our vegetables to keep ourselves strong and keep our stress low and, and stay connected with people. We're social creatures, but stay connected using, you know, FaceTime and video conferencing. I'm FaceTiming with my mom every day, checking on her, but we want to make sure we stay connected in that way. But also, you know, go for a walk, just wave to your neighbors, don't get too close to them, mm -hmm. but try not to get overly stressed out. And I'm glad you mentioned about waving because I didn't realize this, but a lot of people, I've been doing the elbow thing because that's what yes. we'll be instructed to do, but that's still too close to be next to someone, That's why I right? backed up, I was like, no, she no, She no. did, she backed up on me, I'm like, what, what, I put on deodorant, what's going on? I love you <laughs> and I'm hugging you internally. Yes. Uh, but yes, we know that we can spread droplets as close as three feet or even six feet away. So we want people to actually try to stay a little bit more distance. That elbow bump is getting a bit too close. Yeah. I was joking around saying let's do the kid and play and just hit our feet together. together close right. enough <laughs> but you know wave with a sincere smile and that's much better to do De definitely and also you also mentioned something um off air and i want to bring it up here is we've been seeing a lot of people posting that you know i'm i'm young i'm not going to be affected by that but it's not them that we're concerned about it's what they do when they go to see someone else who may be older that would they be concerned about so explain a little bit more about that so we now know that the virus is transmitted to people with zero symptoms originally we we're saying if you have a fever stay home now we know that people with no symptoms at all can spread it. And while the majority of people will have no symptoms at all or have very mild symptoms or flu-like symptoms, we need to protect the people who have low immunity, heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, the elderly. And the only way we can protect them when we don't have a treatment is not to get infected ourselves. So when I saw those 20-somethings at the, at the bars over the weekend, I was really concerned because, yes, they don't need to personally worry about getting sick. But if they got exposed to the virus, they could transmit that to their elderly neighbor or their grandparent or their parents without even knowing that they're carrying it. So the only way we can protect people right now is to not get infected, which means to stay home whenever possible. And so when the CDC came out yesterday talking about we need to probably uh, keep our groups 50 or less and for the next eight weeks, that's basically saying we need to be by ourselves, as you mentioned, and try to avoid spreading this even more because we may not see the end of this for quite some time. Correct. And while they are working on things right now, I know they're, they're actually planning human testing, some possible vaccines even next week from what I read last night. Right now, we need to protect protect ourselves from spreading this. So yes, I would say avoid situations where there's more than 10 people uh, in one room. Uh, it la over the weekend, we usually do family trips to the market. I stayed home with the kids. My husband went to Costco and he brought the wipes. He, he brought the, uh, the hand sanitizer, washed his hands it. as soon as he came home. We really need to do anything we can to protect ourselves from social contact. I know some people are having uh, churches or doing online services, mm -hmm. but we really do need to protect ourselves from unnecessary human contact. I'm a telemedicine doctor. This is the first time I've 
left my home medicine or my home office for us. was exactly. for you as a public service. But yeah, we really do need to protect ourselves from unnecessary social situations. And if you need help to learn how to protect yourself, simply go to go goodbyelupus.com. You can also get her books right here. It'll really help you learn how to build up your immune system because we need to not only protect ourselves, but protect those who are more vulnerable, yes. our elderly and those with compromised immune systems. We and I give this. away free recipes for those green smoothies so that people it. can start protecting themselves right away. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Brooke Goldberg, once again. A lot more Morning Dose when we come back, so stick around, everybody.